every class in ActionScript has a constructor method. Right here in our document class, the public function stuff doc, it's got the same name as the class, this is our constructor function. Every class has one. If we look at the cog, public function cog, same as the class name, this is the construction fun constructor function for that class. Whenever you want to create an object, the cog for example, let's say that inside of our document class we want to create one of these cog objects. We would declare a variable, var c data type it as a cog, and say that we want to create new cog. What we are doing here is we are actually calling the constructor function of the cog object. So we have one cog that we've created here. We could create a second one, same line of code, new cog. There we are. So we've created two of these objects. They aren't actually on the stage yet. We haven't told Flash that we want to put them on the stage, but we have created two instances. Two instances of the cog object. Over here, we've called this function twice. Now another useful keyword here is the keyword this. We can say this dot rotation equals 50. So we are going to say that every time this function gets called, public function cog, so somebody says new cog, that function gets called. Every time it happens, the cog that's created, this refers to this class, it refers to the instance that's created, its rotation property is set to 50. So it's rotated clockwise by 50 degrees. Over here in stuff doc, I've called cog twice. Both those cogs have been rotated by 50 degrees, just automatically. If we wanted to make it a random rotation, we could instead of using 50, use our math.random, the same as we would in JavaScript, and we'll multiply by 50. So random value between 0 and 49.999999. Okay, so we've created a random amount of rotation between 0 and 50 degrees for each cog. These two cogs have been created. They've both been given a random amount of rotation between 0 and 50. If I want to refer to my document class, so I'm inside the document class, stuffdoc.as. In here, if I use the keyword this, I'm also referring to this class in particular. This class only has one instance. That is the document. It is the stage. So if I want to add one of these objects onto the stage, I could say add child C. Say this dot add child c1. Those two cogs that we created are now added to the stage. If I want to move them around somewhere on the stage, I use their variable name. So c dot x equals 200, and c1 dot x equals 300. Okay, and I'll run that. There we go right here along the top. Those two cogs are the ones that we created with our ActionScript code. And you can tell that they are rotated slightly differently.